This is an example from the first bucket, an FIR filter. Here you can see a definition of an FIR filter that is n samples long. It doesn't have data dependencies, and you can make sure that it doesn't by looking at its definition. The right side of the equation doesn't have y anywhere. It means that we're lucky, we can compute all samples in our buffer independently. And moreover, as an FIR filter is rather computation intensive and has many independent multiplications per sample, we can actually allocate more than one thread per sample to be even more efficient. But let's not forget about the second bucket of algorithms with data dependencies. An IIR filter is a component from the second bucket. Here we have a definition of a second order IIR filter, infinite impulse response. As one can clearly see, it has data dependencies, as we see y in the right side of the equation. We even see it twice, as each output sample depends on two previous output samples. While it is very easy to transfer this definition into some code, we cannot execute such code very efficiently using the GPU due to the fact that we have nothing to compute in parallel. So while we cannot implement efficient IIR for GPU directly, this doesn't mean that nothing can be done at all. But let's leave this as a problem formulation for the time being. So for components like infinite impulse response or IIR, we need some kind of solution to be able to efficiently execute them on the GPU. We can transform or implement completely different components which will produce the same output, but will still be GPU friendly. However, these transformations have very strict requirements that you can see here on the slide. Let's briefly discuss what can be done with an IIR filter as an example of such a component. On the plus side, IIR filters are linear systems and those kind of systems and transformations that can be done to them are well studied. On the con side, while being a linear system, in many audio production scenarios, users will actually want to change the parameters of the filter while they're processing on the fly. This greatly complicates things, uh, trying to implement something that will produce exactly the same result in this scenario. However, after many hours of R&D and days of uh, coding, we got the design of IR GPU code, which is actually more than 10 times faster than native ports from CPU and allows users for this flexibility that they want. Mm -hmm.